Dear friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will solve one problem involving divergence theorem. What is like this in free space? d is equal to 8x by z4 ax plus 4x square z4 ay plus 16x square by z4 z. Pico coulomb per centimeter per meter square. Find a flux density. Find flux passing through the rectangular surface z is equal to 2, 0 less than x less than 2 and 1 less than y less than 3 in z direction and part b is find approximate value of charge contained in, in an incremental sphere located at point p 2 minus 1 3 and having a volume of 10 minus 12 meter cube. So, we will proceed like this to solve this question. Let us say this is our rectangular space, rectangular, see this is 0, 2 and z is, sorry, y is 1, 3 and z equal to, two. so we have to find out flux passing through this rectangular shape. This is in x y plane. As we have to find out the flux passing in z direction, so we will have to consider only z component of flux density. Dz is 16 x square y z. This is y z cube, sorry. So we have to find out flux passing in z direction. So, we will consider only z component of the flux density that is this component. Flux will be given by d a into d as d phi and uh, phi will be given by integral x is varying from 0 to 2 and y is varying from 1 to 3 and d z is 16 y z cube dx dy. We will have to evaluate this integral for calculating the flux. z is equal to, so this becomes 8 this out 1 2 sorry 1 2 3 and 0 2 2 and we are left with 16 s square y dx dy so this is 1 2 3 and we integrate it so we are left with 16 x cube by 3 and this limit is 0 to 2 and this is y dy right now we put value of x this becomes 8 and y 3 at 0 at 0. So, this becomes 16 into 8 y 3. This becomes out of this integral sign. So, we are left with 1 2 3 y dy. So, this becomes 8 into 16 into 8 y 3 and y square y 1 2 3. Right. Now, we put this value 16 into 8y 3, we put this value, this becomes 9y 2 and this becomes 1y 2. So, this becomes 8 into 16 into 8 into 8y 3 into 2. If we evaluate it, then we get 1365.33 pico coulomb and this is our answer. Dear friend, this is how we can evaluate this uh, flux passing through this x y plane in this area. Now, next question is next part is I will say next part is that we have to find out. Uh, net flux contained in a 
volume of 10 to the power minus 12 m cube. So, charge will be or DC will be rho into dV. dV we are knowing, so only thing we have to calculate rho and divergence of D is rho, rho and D is 8 x y 4 a x plus 4 x square z 4 plus 16 x square y z q a z. So, divergence of d will be equal to differential of this that is 8 y z 4 plus 16, this is 0 because there is no y component here. So, this becomes 16 x square y into 3 z square equal to 8 y z 4 plus 16 into 348 into x square y z square. And uh, point P is 2 minus 1. 3 here, it is 2 minus 1 3. So, divergence of D at this point at P will be equal to 8 into minus 1 into 3 raised to the power 4 plus 48 into S square is 4 into Y is minus 1 and 3 square is 9. This is our Uh, row or uh, you can say charge density this becomes minus 2376 pico coulomb per meter cube this equal to minus 32376 into 10 is power minus coulomb per meter cube so charge contained in the volume of this I this uh, that is 10 for minus 12 meter cube will be so dc will be equal to minus 2376 minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb if we calculate it then we will get minus 2.376 into 10 to the power minus 21 coulomb and this is our answer so, dear friend, by using this divergence property, we can calculate the flux, dens uh, flux density, uh, flux as well as the charge contained in this sphere. You should remember that divergence of any flux, dens uh, flux density function gives charge density in coulomb per meter cube. So, this is how we can calculate these two parts. Dear friends, thank you very much. Kindly subscribe to my channel.